Good morning, and I do hope you are well. It's only a week to go till Christmas. Hurrah! Today's reading is from the Book of Numbers, and comprises two messages from Balaam, son of Baal. When Balaam looked out and saw Israel encamped tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came on him, and he spoke his message. The prophecy of Balaam, son of Baal. The prophecy of one whose eye sees clearly. The prophecy of one who hears the words of God. Who sees a vision from the Almighty. Who falls prostrate and whose eyes are opened. How beautiful are your tents, Jacob, your dwelling places, Israel. Like valleys they spread out, like gardens beside a river. Like aloes planted by the Lord, like cedars beside the waters. Water will flow from their buckets. Their seed will have abundant water. Their king will be greater than Agag. Their kingdom will be exalted. Then he spoke this message. The prophecy of Balaam, son of Baor. The prophecy of one whose eye sees clearly. The prophecy of one who hears the words of God. Who has knowledge from the Most High. Who sees a vision from the Almighty who falls prostrate, and whose eyes are opened. I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob, a scepter will rise out of Israel. You may have wondered why we have this reading just a week before Christmas. Probably, like me, you were expecting one of the messianic prophecies that we heard in the Nine Lessons and Carols at St John the Baptist Church last night. Balaam was probably not an Israelite, but he was a prophet and the son of Baor. King Balak of Moab offered him money to curse Israel, but instead Balaam blessed the Israels as directed by their God. The story of Balaam occurs towards the end of the forty years of wandering in the wilderness, shortly before the death of Moses and the crossing of the Jordan into the Promised Land. The people were now in the plains of Moab, east of the Jordan River, in modern-day Jordan. The Israelites had already defeated two kings in this area, and Balak, king of Moab, is understandably worried. Right at the end of our passage are the words, I see him, but not now. I behold him, but not near. A star will come out of Jacob. A scepter will rise out of Israel. It seems that Matthew refers to this prophecy in his Gospel with the words of the Magi. We have seen his star in the east. Also, during the reign of Emperor Hadrian between 117 and 138, so after the time of Jesus, another pretender to the title of Messiah named himself bar Koshab or bar Koshba, which means the son of a star. So although the book of Numbers doesn't warrant a place alongside Isaiah or Micah in our traditional nine lessons and carols, we do find possible references to a coming saviour dotted throughout the Old Testament. And now let us pray. As we look forward to the coming of Christ child at Christmas once more, we pray for all our churches in Cookham, preparing to welcome people to join in this great festival. First of all, a prayer for lighting the third candle on the Advent wreath. Lord Jesus, light of the world, John told the people to prepare, for you were very near. As Christmas grows closer day by day, help us, to be ready to welcome you now. Amen. And as we prepare for Christmas and think of what we can do to welcome Jesus into our hearts anew, you may like to reflect with me on the final verse of Christina Rossetti's carol in The Bleak Midwinter. What can I give him, poor as I am? If I were a shepherd, I would bring a lamb. If I were a wise man, I would do my part. Yet what I can I give him, give my heart. 
And now we bring all our prayers together in the traditional words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Stay safe. Our Monday evening prayers for Ukraine, Israel and Gaza continue tonight at St John the Baptist Church. But we are then taking a break and we will review whether we continue in January. Also, there will be no online prayers next Monday on Christmas Day. But remember, Richard Simmons will lead our prayers on Friday. <laughs>